Hello buddies, welcome back. It's been a long time since we posted our last hackathon video and now we are back with another banger of a video and before that a short intro. And yes, after dropping India's best ever Smart India Hackathon playlist in 2023, after mentoring 100 plus teams, after evaluating 1000 plus ideas, and after being the official judge of Smart India Hackathon 2023, I am here to guide you throughout this entire journey of Smart India Hackathon 2024 with all the guidance that I can provide for you. And make sure to watch this video till the end guys, we have a wonderful surprise for you. First of all, for all the new people here, let me explain what is Smart India Hackathon. Smart India Hackathon is the world's biggest hackathon where like-minded people come together to solve the problems given by the government and all the private industries here. Let me keep it simple. Lot of problem statements will be listed. You should pick out the problem statement and give a solution for that. If you give the perfect solution, you are the winner. That's all. It's that simple. It does look easy, right guys, with the way I am saying, but no, that's a big journey to go forward. But don't worry, I will help you. The first major thing, eligibility criteria. Who can participate? If you are a college student, you can participate. That is the first thing. And with the level of team formation, all the rules they have given, at least one girl has to be in a team of six. Okay, that is the first team formation rule. And it can be a cross department team. It can be any years, whatever. It totally depends on you. But Certain colleges doesn't allow it, it's their fate, but you don't need to worry about that. You can be cross department teams. And now for applying for Smart India Hackathon, you cannot do it individually as a student. Let's just go to their website and I can give you a detailed walkthrough. Okay. So as you can see, these are the, all the problem statements that they have given. You can choose one problem statement from here and you can work for it. But the first step comes with the SPOC registration. Who is an SPOC? The representative of your college. He will be that one person who will be representing all of you. And he is the only one who can register all of you as well. But before that, first he has to be registered into this portal, okay? So if your institute is not registered in this portal, make sure to ask your college SPOCs to register themselves here. And then only you can apply for Smart India Hackathon, okay? So now comes the next important part. Uh, okay, you have done the SPOC registration. What next? Next comes the internal hackathon. Internal hackathon has been the biggest... Uh, uh, benchmark for Smart India Hackathon since 2022, the year which we won. Okay, during that time, one team can submit only one idea and only 15 teams from one college can apply. But now, rules all have changed. 100 teams can apply per college. Okay, and one team can submit multiple ideas. So you have a lot more opportunities to crack open and get into the finals. Okay, so the internal hackathon is not mandatory now. It totally relies on the college. Okay, if they want to keep, they can keep. If not, it's fine. So for that, you can check the guidelines. Okay, so if suppose you have more than hundred plus uh, students in your college, that is when you can. I mean, hundred plus teams, you can directly go and check out in this portal. You can download the guidelines and you can proceed further. Okay, we talked about internal hackathon now. Now let's go to the detailed timeline of what happens next. So after internal hackathon, your team has to be working on the idea and creating a presentation and smart india hackathon themselves they have given a template make sure to check and download this idea ppt okay maybe i can download it for you and i can show how the template is so let me open just give me a minute uh -huh. so oh, they've given a new format ah huh? nice i think this is a new format for smart india hackathon 2024 where we can talk a bit more in detail okay so i have already shared the details of the smart india hackathon winning presentation of 2022 in the last detailed playlist as well you can have a check of that and we'll be talking more about this in detail in the upcoming videos as well okay so let us go to the timeline so first you will the launch is already done all the problem statements are live as you already saw right we already saw the problem statements they are live now you will be working for the internal hackathon if there is no internal hackathon it's fine it's not mandatory so if there are less than 100 teams you don't even need to have an internal hackathon then the idea submission you will be submitting the presentation after the presentation submission that is uh, when it is ending on 12th september then the idea screening so they take mostly one and a half months 
So last year when I was an evaluator, I think I got the evaluation criteria and all the things just uh, uh, 15 days before the actual result. So it's a very long process. Okay, so I evaluated for five different problem statements. I guess I forgot what I, I will share the details in the upcoming videos as well. So I I did have an overview of all the mistakes that you are doing, and I can happily say that I covered it in the entire playlists last time. Okay, so now we have talked about the eligibility criteria, SPOC registration, internal hackathon and the PPT submission and all. Now comes what next? For getting into the final, that is for the PPT submission, what all you have to do? We have made a complete playlist for that already. Okay, starting from team formation, how to select a problem statement, how to draft a winning PPT, everything we have covered last time itself and I have shared all the links in the description. But don't worry, this time, again we'll be working on each of it in a new approach, in a new style, okay? So I am there here for you, don't worry. Now comes the surprise package guys, being one of Tamil Nadu's fastest growing content creator, 3 national awards, 4 state awards, multiple national and international hackathons as judge and mentor. We have now collaborated with Meet My Mentor platform where we can connect with each other one on one to discuss a lot about career and hackathons. And with respect to Smart India Hackathon 2024, we will be having multiple one on one sessions starting from ideation, PPT, plan strategies and everything. And what we have now is the first 20 teams who are registering for this one on one mentorship will just have to pay 1 rupees. <laughs> Why 1 rupees? That is the minimal fee which we can do for a payment platform or stuff and all. And so we have this exclusive opportunity where we can connect one on one. We will discuss about your plans, strategies and everything that you have to do to get into Smart India Hackathon. And this is just the beginning of something great that we are going to do together. I am looking forward to connect with each one of you. Let's strive and grow together. And until next time, signing off, Gamaliel Das.